always going to be need for houses. There's always going to be need for paper. If you've got a good heart and you want to work, there's plenty of opportunity in the woods for you. This is awesome. The surroundings are cool. It's a lot different than just being in a building every day. It is fun to run the big machines. Uh, nowadays, the technology is, is great. Yeah, this is what I was looking for, a, a career where I could be working outside. Things from foresters to equipment operators to technicians to work on all this high-tech equipment. You pay to get dirty, you pay to get muddy, put some long hours in, and have some fun. This is my office. 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 There would be a lot of opportunities for young people. It's good to see young people come into this profession because there isn't a whole abundance of them right now. If they are up for a good challenge and they're willing to learn and have a, a good, strong work ethic, I think they'll do fine in this industry. we got an aging workforce that's set out to retire and young people can come in and really thrive in this industry. You know, there's, you know, there's good money in it. The harder you're willing to work, the more you can make. There's money to be made. It's a full-time job. It's a salary job. I have a retirement plan, I have a company pickup. A lot of the experience that you need to be great at what you do, you can't get at a school and you can't get it from a classroom. You need to be in the seat, running the controls and doing the job. I get to work with people from all over the state and I get to actually work on lands all over the state, so I really like that. No matter if you're a girl or a guy, you, you can definitely be in this business. People are looking for operators all the time. There are a lot of opportunities in the woods. There are no unemployed loggers. There's a lot of trees to cut, a lot of land that needs to be managed, and the opportunities abound. We work in all types of weather. The good, the bad, the ugly. Some days is brutal, I'll be honest. Some days it's windy or it's rainy or snowing, and uh, but I like that. The biggest thing you need is, is common sense and be a problem solver. I don't have set hours. It's more here's a job and you've got to get it done. And you need to be very flexible. Every day you come to work thinking, what is going to happen today? It's, you have to learn from the old guys. They you know, teach you everything. Uh, well, it's like they just they walk you through everything. They, they've been around for a while. Obviously, they know everything. Any question I have, I can ask any of these guys and they know. We would expect someone coming into this field to be bright, teachable, willing to work as part of a team that uh, will enter into a place and leave it in a better condition than when they got there. When I'm thinking about what I'm going to do to a stand, I'm thinking what that's going to look like, not for your kids, but for their kids. And so you've got to think into the future. As long as you treat it right, you're going to have forests into the future. Sustainability and taking care of the land is our number one priority, making sure that we have something here for the future while still remaining economically viable in the state of Maine. If you don't do a good quality work, there won't be anything to come back to. Oh, it's a renewable resource. It's sustainable. You know, we move the best products into the best places, and it's a win-win for everybody. It's for the landowner, it's for the mills who employ other people, and uh, we make a good living at it ourselves. Today we run equipment that you have to have the skills of a pilot to run. Push whatever button you want, it'll automatically cut the tree, limb the tree, until it's ready, and it'll stand back up and it's ready for the next tree. I have GPS and GIS mapping. I use the computer. A lot of times I'll use my iPhone to actually use it as a map. The, the cabs on these machines have been very comfortable. They're very well air conditioned, very well heated. Radio communication is good, visibility is good. They're, they're very powerful, they're fun to run. If you can run a computer at home, you can, you can run a computer in here. No, you don't just slide into a, a half million or three quarter million dollar machine without some training, but we'll try to give people exposure to those things whether it be working on the yard, working on the equipment. We're always watching each other's backs and make sure that nobody gets hurt. We don't want anybody to get hurt on the job. Uh, so we're constantly talking about safety. You're completely armored inside the machine. And you feel so safe. Everybody's job to, to think about safety and enact that plan. It's a moral responsibility uh, that everyone assumes that everyone will get home safe at night. It's not a one-man band. There are many people that, uh, that contribute to getting a raw product all the way to a store shelf somewhere. Everybody plays an integral role in the team. That's the only way we can do this is with teamwork. It, 
you know, we all are dependent on each other and we all have to work together in order to make this work. And it's, it's really rewarding to see eight, 10, 15 guys working on a job and, you know, they all go home to their families at the end of the night and it's supporting those families. And then the truck drivers, they come in and get the wood and bring it to the mills. And then all the people that work at the mills and that wood goes out to the families and to build homes. And just to know that all of that it never would have happened if I hadn't done my part of that job. It, it really, it, it's rewarding, it feels good. What I like best about my office, um, I enjoy working outside, I enjoy the challenge, and I also enjoy accomplishment. We take on a project and we get to see from the beginning to the end. I guess I like everything about it because I love going and talking with the, with the guys and working with the guys, but then I love my time alone out in the woods too. I like being around heavy equipment and being outside. I always love being in the woods and hunting and fishing, and if I can work out here, nothing wrong with that. It's probably right up there with some of the best paying jobs around. I get to work every day in a place that I live, I recreate in, and I call my home. I am embarrassed to say that I have seen more deer than probably any hunter that has ever lived and never shot one. You get to work in the outdoors every day. You might be in a cab, but you're still in the woods. Even at the age that I am now, I still love my job. I don't need a gym membership, that's for sure. Uh, it's a demanding job, but it's totally worth it. You know. 95% of the time, it's sunny and it's beautiful and uh, you know, you're up on the top of a hill looking out over a nice view or, or you peek across and there's a moose standing there just kind of looking at you. And it's, it's a dream job to have and you gotta love it and you, you, you have fun doing it every day. I actually, I dropped out of civil engineering to do this. It was a, a choice and a, the road less traveled. It, it, it's a lot of fun, I enjoy it. This is my office.